My name is Sean Brown, and today I'll be teaching Millie, Bob, and Shirley about uh, Preach My Gospel Chapter 4 on learning to recognize uh, and follow promptings of the Spirit. So today we're going to learn about the Holy Ghost. And my goal for today is that you might leave today in learning how to recognize the promptings of the Holy Ghost. Now, first of all, we need to know a little bit about who the Holy Ghost is. Because a lot of people refer to the Spirit, and, you know, to the Holy Ghost and the Spirit of God. But what is it? To you, Bob, what is the Holy Ghost? It's the Lord living within your heart. I like that answer. Um, in fact, in, in the Doctrine and Covenants, um, the Lord says that, that very exact same thing. Um, in Doctrine and Covenants, section 130, um, verse 22. It reads exactly what you said, Bob. It says, The Holy Ghost has not a body of flesh and bones, but is a personage of spirit. Were it not so, the Holy Ghost could not dwell within us. Just like you said. And so, the Holy Ghost is the testifier of truth. He's the person that takes everything that Heavenly Father has for us and brings it to our hearts our souls. And I'd like to turn to a few scriptures to help highlight that, because Jesus Christ himself spoke about the Holy Ghost as the testifier of truth. And if we open up into the book of John, chapter 15, verse 26. Really, would you feel comfortable reading today? So from that verse, what did you learn, Millie, about the, the responsibilities of the Holy Ghost? What's his job? It's Jesus Christ. Stays. He will tell him of you. He will testify for him. Yeah. He will testify of Jesus Christ. Um, there was a prophet, his name was Moroni. He's the very last prophet to write in the book of Mormon, right before the Nephites died. Moroni tells us more additional responsibilities of the Holy Ghost. And if we open up to the book of Moroni, chapter 3, Bob, this is a short verse. It's going to be verse 5. Would you feel comfortable reading that verse? Yes, sir. And as, as you read this verse, this is Moroni speaking. He's going to outline another additional responsibility of the Holy Ghost. What, what was it? Chapter 10? Chapter 10, verse 5. Chapter 10, verse 5. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you may know the truth of all things. So what's another additional responsibility of the Holy Ghost? Well, you learn what the truth, how you should live, and what, and what your life is about. Yeah, exactly. And I love the comment you made about how we should live. Because that exact same comment was made by another prophet by the name uh, of Nephi. And that's in the book of 2 Nephi, chapter 32. Shirley, will you read this verse for us? It's again verse 5. And in this in this chapter, it's, it's Nephi speaking. Nephi is one of the first principal prophets in, in the Book of Mormon. And Nephi is going to give us the same exact um, responsibility that Bob just pointed out to us. Will you read verse 5 for us, Shirley? For behold, again I say unto you, that if ye will enter in by the way and receive the Holy Ghost, it will show unto you all things what ye should do. So I like what you said, Bob, about how it will help you live your life, right? Yes. So how, how would learning how to recognize the Holy Ghost be important in your life? Give me some 
direction. Give you direction. Yeah. It would give you direction. It would give you. It would also give you desire. It, it'll change your life, right? Right. right. You want to keep the commandments and, and do what's right. But one thing that a lot of people struggle with is they have a hard time recognizing. It. Yes. And you you sound like you have experience, Millie. Really. <laughs> you do. I I sometimes do not know whether it is something that you feel you should do or you know you should do or you just do it. You yeah. don't know where it's coming from. Well, you, know, you don't know where it's like a premonition. It's, it's like a, a flow of ideas sometimes. Right. I felt that exact same thing. And when the Holy Ghost speaks to me, sometimes I feel a flow of ideas. Um, there's, a, there's a verse in the Bible that speaks more about the feelings that the Holy Ghost gives us. It's in the book of Galatians in the New Testament. I have a question on that. Yes, please. When you, uh, when you do something and you don't know why, um, are you not listening or is, is it subconscious that you're doing? Let me give you an example. We're in Texas. We've never vacationed in Texas, but we have a mission down there. Was that him telling us we should be there, or was that him sending us there? That was that is a great point, really. And I'd like actually, why don't you bookmark that that scripture right there, and we're gonna we're gonna answer this. Okay. And we're gonna turn open to back over to the Book of Mormon, right? because. You know, some, some people back in, in the Nephite times also learned this exact same question. How do you know if it's good? How do you know if Heavenly Father you know, sent, sent, you there. sent you there? Exactly. And Moroni is going to give us a little hint. What chapter? Um, 